Hey guys, what's going on today? Bojo here, back again for another one of our NHL 16 Hockey Ultimate Team team builds. As today, we're moving on to the next league, and we're going to be doing the best overall SM Liga, or the Finnish Elite League team that you can build in the game. So once again, guys, if you missed out on our SHL, AHL, and the CHL team builds in NHL 16 Hockey Ultimate Team, you guys can go check out the link in the description for the previous video or the link for the entire playlist, or go check out the main page of my channel, and you guys will see all the videos there. But today we're fa focusing on the Fantastic Fins. I apologize if I get any of these names wrong, and uh, we're just gonna be focusing on this Fantastic Fins team, and I'll show you guys the strengths and weaknesses, along with some gameplay at the end of the video. So first off, on the first line, we're gonna have Michael Ryan, Peter Hubacek, and anti Mietinen. So Hubachek and Mietinen are still pretty good here. Three two-way forwards on the first line. 85 skating and 84 skating for Hubachek and Mietinen. And they do feel like they do have those uh, skating stats for sure. Michael Ryan, not really all too great. This team is probably... I wasn't impressed by this team to say the least. I'll show you guys when we get to the strengths and weaknesses. But other than the first line, this is really all you have looking forward to here on this team is Hubachek and Mietinen, and that is pretty much it with those two guys. I mean, they're, I mean, other than Hubachek having the fast skating, kind of an average player, Mietinen seems like a more well balanced two way forward, and he he is without a doubt the best player on this uh, Sim Liga team. All right, so if we move down to the second line, we have Daryl Boyce, who I believe is the brother of Dan Boyce, I think, or Derek Boyce. I, I think there is another guy, Boyce, in the NHL or playing hockey, but I'm not sure of his first name. But Daryl Boy uh, Boyce, Ben Maxwell, right? Ben Maxwell? Yeah, Ben Maxwell. And then Mika? Yeah, Mika Pyrolala. I'm not even going to attempt to say that. Uh, there are a lot of Carpot players on this team. I think there's a total of five or six Carpot players total on this entire Sim Liga team. So Carpot does have a good, um, or Carpa, however you guys say it. But their team seems to be pretty good of high overall players. But once again, another weird combination of players with a grinder, playmaker, and a two-way forward. Um, a lot of these guys have good skating hands and defense, not really good sh uh, shooting and checking other than Boyce. Obviously, since he's a grinder, he's going to have some good checking and decent skating stats. Maxwell, once again, decent skating. All these guys have around like 82, 83 skating. So they're decently, they're decent speed, but nothing really too impressive otherwise. Third pair, we got Tony Kovisto, Yanni Layunin, and then Yunus Donskoy. So... Uh, a couple of these former NHL players here, especially with uh, La Union and Donskoy obviously playing for the San Jose Sharks right now. Obviously, he does have a better base card now with that gold upgrade, but this is his silver card, which you can't get anymore, by the way. So, decent skating stats. Other uh, other than that, nothing really too impressive. His gold card is obviously better. La Union, or La Union, or La Junin. Uh, skating in hands are pretty good, and then Kobe used to, once again, just a pretty fast skater. So, got a little bit of speed on the third line with a sniper and two more two-way forwards, but once again, nothing really too impressive. And then on the fourth pair, we have Anti Carella, Eric Perrin, and then Yane, or Yane, yeah, Yan, Yane, Yane Lati. So, once again, these are the low-end players, obviously high 70s, so you're not going to get anything too spectacular here, Carella. Once again, upper 70s for everything. Perrin, or Eric Perrin, uh, no 80s in the skating in the hands, nothing too impressive. And then Lati as a power forward, just has good checking in defense. That is pretty much it. Very lackluster here on the offensive side for this team. As we move on to the defense here, we have uh, Arto Lots, Latakainen. Latakainen? I don't even know. Latakainen and Marcus Sicola. So, Sicola, once again, pretty underwhelming as a 78. Nothing really too spectacular. Upper 70s for everything. Uh, Lati Kanan. Lati Kanan. He's got good hands in skating as an offensive defenseman. He's the best defenseman on this team that you can get. So, you know, might show a little bit of prowess in the off on the offensive side of the puck, but nothing really too spectacular. Uh, next pair, we have Lasse Kukunen and Miku Jokela. So once again, two more 78s on defense here. Uh, Kukunen has got good hands. That's about it. And then Jukola, or Jokola, 
He's got good checking. That's about it. Not really good shooting. He's a defensive defenseman. So, you know, he might have some height on him. Not really 6-1. I'm pretty sure most of these players are fairly small as well. And then if we move on to the final pair, we do have an enforcer on this team with uh, Marcus Kank. Kanka para, Kanka para, I guess, or Kanka para, and then uh, finally Miku Luma, 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 I guess. So uh, Kanka para was the enforcer, 81 checking, not really too spectacular for an enforcer. He is only six foot, so he's a small guy, but you know he's he's bound to throw the body out there, I guess you could say. But 81 checking is kind of underwhelming for an enforcer. You expect enforcers to have some kind of height and weight, and this guy really doesn't have it all too much. And uh, Loom, Luma, not really too spectacular either. 80 for checking, nothing really great otherwise. But if we do go to the goaltenders, the goaltenders are fairly decent. Obviously, the highest overall for silvers you can get in the game is 82. So the goaltenders are actually probably the better part of this entire team. So for starts, you got UC Markinen who is from Sal Pa, 82, almost has 82 overall in all of his stats, six foot 183, but he was a very solid goaltender in the two games that I used him. And then you also have Ryan Sapolsky, who is an 81 overall, who has almost 81 overall on all of his stats, 81s and 80s all around. His stats, six foot 185. So once again, guys, if you look at all the height and weights of these guys' teams, I mean, look, six foot all those guys under 200, Six foot on all these guys, around 200. Uh, six one, six foot around all those guys, and then five eleven, five nine, and six two. Perrin is a very small guy out there at five nine. Lati might be the tallest guy on the team at six two, five eleven, six two. It's tied with that guy, six one, six foot. Yeah, and six four is actually the highest is Luma. So actually, he's actually uh, one of the guys that can check pretty well on the team. So show you guys some gameplay here. Of how this Sim Liga team plays, and uh, to say the least, they're very lackluster. One thing I can say is a common theme between all of the team builds that are not NHL teams is you still will be able to manage to get a lot of shots on net. No matter what their shooting stats are, rebounds tend to generate at a higher pace. I seem I I seem to see with these weird team builds. So shoot the puck on that, get some rebounds. You'll be bound to score a couple goals here and there but that is the trouble of this team is hitting the net the accuracy of these guys shots is not great not good at all I think the best shooting stat that you get on this team for offense is 82 and on the best on defense you get is 77 so these guys don't have much power behind their shot and they don't have much accuracy behind their shot. So you gotta you gotta fight for either those tapping goals or the one T or the one timers or like the cross crease goals. Because they're not that fast either. Other than Hubachek and Mietinen, you, these guys are not gonna be flying by your players. Although the smaller they are small, so they will get knocked off the puck easily, but they do seem to have a little bit more speed than they than you would think that they have. So obviously you see the guys that have like under six foot seem to skate a little bit faster because their endurance is probably a little bit higher because you know longer uh, bigger guys have to take longer strides between their skates. Shorter players, it's not as much. So they do have some endurance on there. They do keep a steady pace of speed. They don't seem to lose their speed all too much because their endurance is probably very high. But still, they're not going to be blazing speed players by you on the team. Uh, chemistry wise, I mean, you get what 91 at the least on all the forward lines. You get a team chemistry of 84, which is not bad. You have a lot of car pop players, so you are going to be getting some good chemistry along all your lines. But other than that, defensively, surprisingly, they were pretty good. Defensively, they were they were actually not too bad at um you know keeping the puck. Or at least deflecting pucks and passes and whatnot. They're very good at blocking shots, I will say that. Um, obviously, they're slow. They're kind of slow moving, so you know, uh, you gotta do your best to try to make up and collapse on the fast players and teams that you are gonna be able to play against. But uh, the goaltenders do a good job of making up for that because the goaltenders on this team are actually very good. Markinen, 
very solid goaltender for an 82 overall. Like I said, he's very slow, but he makes up for it for his, uh, his you know, for his quickness. 82 overall is still pretty solid for a goaltender. He was pretty solid in that, other than the glitch goals that went on, on him. Not too bad. Zabolski, on the other hand, was not all too fantastic. Markkanen is definitely your go-to choice for goaltenders. Zapolsky, not all too much. And then, obviously, for hitting, don't expect to hit with this team other than your final pair on the defense with that enforcer and that 6'4 defenseman. Other than that, these guys are way too slow in order to pick up speed and lay a check. You're barely going to touch these guys, uh, touch opposing players on the other team. So don't think about going for body checks, poke checks, very slow, but they do seem to be fairly accurate as well. So would I recommend this team to you guys? No. Is it fun to play with? Yeah, all these weird teams are always fun to play with, but as for uh, recommendations, I would not go with this team. I would definitely recommend one of the other three team builds that we already have created. Sim Liga, not really up to snuff when it comes to uh, players in the Hockey Ultimate Team this year. So that is the Sim Liga team, guys. Like I said, not real. They're okay. They're pretty good defensively. The goaltenders will bail you out of a lot of situations. Offensively, you gotta go for the you gotta go for the gritty goals, man. Go for those go for the rebounds, go for the cross creases because these guys from far out are not gonna be hitting the net and their shots are not going to be very strong. So you gotta go for those greasy tap in goals. You gotta go for the cross creases. Gotta go for the if you get a breakaway, try to get it. But defense, but offense is not the strong suit of this team. Defensively is okay but when it comes to body checking and things like that it is not the strong suit of this team sim liga you might be able to pass over but still i would give this team a tryout just for the kicks and giggles but thanks for watching guys let me know what you think of this team let me know if you used any of these players before like i said i would recommend Mietinen though if you want to just have a random goof around player to have on your fourth line or something like that with your full stacked online team he's pretty good nonetheless but next up, guys, we're going to be moving on to the Dell League, which is the uh, the German League, I believe. So that's the next team build that we're going to be working on next. So thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, as always. And I will see you guys next time.